Hey everybody, this is Justin Koshel Co. I just want to go over some stuff about this uh, Kraken 580 um, gear problem with the secondary shaft. As some of you may know, that there's been a recall on this on the secondary shaft, and that's why I haven't been flying my Kraken. Um, it is done. It's sitting over here. Um, basically, I just want to show you guys how to how to fix this repair. Um, in your manual on page 40, there's going to be a diagram, and that's what I'm following right now. Hardest part about this is that the the screws are red loctited, so you're going to have to to get at it with a basically I'm using a pencil torch, um, you know, this is basically drug <laughs> druggie's dream, and uh, anyway, this guy right here you can just get it on on here and you can burn you you not burn it but you can get it hot and you can get these screws basically to loosen the red loctite, and once that's done you can use your um, your three millimeter wrench, no, it's not three millimeter, it's two and a half millimeters. Two and a half millimeter wrench, and you're gonna take out these screws. There's a one, two, three, four, and five. And basically, when you remove those screws, you're gonna pull this cup off here. And essentially, you're gonna pull this up. And what you're left with is this this cup full of grease. Just keep it clean. Um, you're gonna, you're gonna, you know that secondary shaft basically is right here and it has a little groove on the bottom so um basically i'm gonna have to pull this um main shaft upward just like that and then you can set this aside i'm going to set it on my manual because i know it's clean and then uh basically this this secondary shaft comes out and so now you've got the faulty secondary shaft so they say basically what the problem is just so everybody knows, is that this has got a one-way bearing in it. It's the pulley that runs your motor pulley. And when this is in the helicopter, basically, um, that pulley uh, slips on here. And this is your one-way bearing. Well, over about 10 flights, I guess, uh, it starts to wear. And you'll see streaks in your, um, in your secondary shaft. And basically, that's making the, um, the outside diameter... Uh, smaller and then the bearing uh, fails and it doesn't it doesn't grab anymore in one direction so this is a one way it's grabbing in one way and then it spins in the other so if it can't grab because the diameter shrinks then you have a problem so I think it's good that SAB told us about this um, it's real good that I'm not out there you know flying this thing um, and 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 you know hurt hurt myself or somebody else so um, anyway that's uh, how that goes and Essentially, you know, you just pull it out. That's all there is to it. I hope that helps a lot of people. Um, I just kind of wanted to do that. I noticed Kyle hasn't made his video yet. So there you go, Kyle. Just helped you out. Uh, you can get your Kraken 580 at BK Hobbies. Um, I'm using the Spectrum uh, 5070 servos from Horizon Hobby in mine. And uh, what else? It looks like a great build. I did build it, and then I had to take it all apart again just to fix this. So... <laughs> Essentially, I just pulled the whole unit out um, from the top of the helicopter, and there's one, two, three, four, five. There's five screws on either side of the heli. You can just pull the whole unit off, and then your um, your motor and your speed control just slides out, and it's not too hard. I mean, yeah, it sucks, but just do it. It's, it's safety first, so thanks for watching. It's Kosho619. I'm out.